the Aorus 4.5 has been released, so I wanted to go through some of the effects and uh, new features. Um, so with Profi Aorus 4.5, uh, there's a number of brand new styles, brand new effects and capabilities. So the, the biggest is the responsive effects. So responsive effects use the angle of your blade, the turning of your hilt, as well as the speed of your swing to modify what's happening on the blade. So this is my Kylo Ren unstable style, but this one has an unstable swing. So the faster I swing this blade, the more unstable it will become. So, and there's a lot of applications for this. You can have the braid become brighter, you can have it become white, you can change how the effects react, but you can use swing speed to modify what's happening. The other part is the angle of the blade. So, particularly effects like the localized lockup, blast, and clash, you can have the blade react and move the effect based on that angle. So, with blast, that blast effect will react to the angle of the blade. So it gives you control over that effect. Now we've also added multi-blast in 4.5. So with multi-blast, you go into blast mode, and now each swing will deflect a blast without you having to press a button. So normally you press the button to trigger blast, but now while in multi-blast mode, each swing triggers that blast effect and then you can exit it just by pressing blast. Now the button controls are going to be different. There's actually several button uh, prop files you can choose from, so I'm using mine. But uh, there's the, sh the shocked and the uh, SA-22C versions as well. So then also now with responsive effects, you've got responsive clash. So that clash location is going to move based on the angle of your blade. And that goes into the localized lockup. So now localized lockup will use the angle of your blade to actually uh, get its location. So as you move your blade, you can move that lockup location. And it gives a lot more realism to how that effect looks, particularly when you're battling someone. Um, and then there's several new effects with OS 4.5. So there's lightning block. And then there's also Melt. And these are using the twist control to actually modify the color of that melt area to make it look like you're melting a material. Um, and then in addition to all the responsive effects, there's also responsive controls for the blade. So this blade right now is set up with the dual mode um, ignition for the quillion. So when my blade is facing up, I'm actually going to have a fast fast ignition, and the quillions are going to trigger at the same time. But now, if I have my blade below horizontal, it'll actually trigger a little slower, and the quillions will have a delay. And that's built into the style itself. Um, so you can have that as a feature if you want. You can also choose not to. You can also have different uh, angles controlling the speed. So, and then in addition, you can also use the responsive controls for transitions. So this is my Pull to the Darkness style, and this style is meant to be Ben Solo's Blue Saber, but then using the, the uh, color change, you can actually change it into the Unstable Red. Now with this one, this also has a responsive control on top of that transition. So when the transition, when the blade is facing up, it's actually going to be faster for the transition. So it'll be a very quick transition. But then if the blade is facing down, it'll actually be a slower transition. So, and this pull to the darkness I've had for a while, but this version also has the um, responsive controls now on that transition, just to give you a little more control. Trailer! 
Now this is the real flame style. Um, so this is the style I created a little while ago. With this effect, when your blade is facing straight up, the flame's going to be at its fastest and most intense. And then as you move that flame down, it'll slow. But once you start to get below horizontal, it'll actually start to fold in on itself. So this is meant to mimic like a real flame. So when it's facing down, it's actually coming back up on itself. So it'll slow down, so it'll be at its fastest when it's up. And then as you move it down, when it's pointing straight down, it'll actually be at its slowest, and it'll also shrink the, uh, the size of the flame. And this also just uses the blade angle to control that. And it's, it's a real-time effect, so even just a little bit of movement changes that size. And then horizontal and up will be full flame, but then the speed changes. And now, what you're seeing now, that's the passive battery monitor. That's also a new feature on OS 4.5. Whenever you change uh, fonts, or if you first have it active for boot, it'll actually glow on your main blade or on your side blades with a green color for full, yellow color for half full, and then red when the battery's getting low. So it's just a quick visual cue to allow you to see where your battery's at. Now, with uh, 4.5, we've also added a number of new effects. So this is the prion effect. And I've got the, the prion effect uses the prion wave file in your font to actually control how long it's visible. So this one has a very long one on purpose. And then once the prion, uh, prion wave is ended, it'll actually go into the effect. Now this is one of my new energy blade styles. This is the Death Star Blast style in blue. So there's also a lot of new styles added to my library that use the effects for 4.5 that you can check out. But these prion effects, they just add a little bit. Now you can have the prion file play for as long as you want. So that was a long one. That was 8,000 milliseconds. And then I've got a post off emitter cooldown effect, so it looks like the emitter is actually cooling off. The star. And now this is a much shorter uh, prion effect, so you don't need to have that really long runtime, but this is going to do a similar effect before ignition. And now this is a new pulsing energy style as well. This is the rolling pulse. So with these styles, you have a energy running up, but using the prion, it actually looks like it's triggering and then blasting up. And then again, there's a post-off effect. Now that one's a very short one. And then just because it's popular right now, I actually, in my OS 4.5 library, I've done a uh, dark saber effect. So this is similar to the live action at the end of The Mandalorian. So it does have that ripple effect that runs up the blade. Uh, hopefully the camera's picking it up. So there's a number of new effects, but in particular, all these new capabilities, basically it's unlimited possibilities now with OS 4.5. Um, my library has uh, quite a few styles in there, but those are only a sample of what's possible. Um, so. Definitely check out OS 4.5 if you have Profi. If you don't have Profi, I'm going to have a bunch of links in the description of this video for you to start learning about it. But if you're looking at lightsabers nowadays, particularly cross guards, you definitely want to learn about Profi. So there's no other boards doing what's possible right now with the, the Profi board. So hope you enjoy.